Hello everyone, Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents me, Deborah, with the latest Crochet World, and you're going to open it with me. That's right, it's still in the plastic. I've been trying to behave and wait until I did this. So, scissors across, scissors put down. Let's pull out everything in this plastic doohickey. And yes, I am a subscriber to this magazine, which is why I end up with a plastic doohickey. And there are other bits and bobs that they send along with you. Uh, expensive bags from Disney, from the Bradford Exchange. Uh, more stuff. A walk-in tub. I actually wouldn't mind having one of those, but if you can get $1,500 off on a flyer that you receive with a magazine, you know that's expensive, right? Uh, valued member AARP. Actually, I am a member because I'm old. Um, oh, important notice. Please do not discard before opening. And this is probably them telling me I need to renew. Okay, that said, put that aside. Put this down here. Let's get into the October 2021 uh, issue of this Crochet World magazine. Really pretty blanket on the front. It looks like they're going into fall. 29 projects that will help you jump into fall. Okay. That's an interesting uh, blanket with motifs on the front. Cozy plus classic, 23 richly colored seasonal projects. Learn to crochet with alpaca. Don't mind if I do. Oh, if you go and buy this on the newsstand, it is uh, $5.99 in the U.S., $6.99 in Canada. It says display until October 25th. And you can also go to crochet-world.com for more information. Lots of adverts in this. They're table of contents is pretty comprehensive. It's all nice and easy to find. They show a couple of pictures of things that are in the book. Letter from the editor over on this side. Annie's Creative Studio doing a lot of advertising again in this one. That is a super cute and so is that. Things are advertising, little trick-or-treat bags. Speaking of trick-or-treat bags, if you haven't seen one that, that Ella from uh, No Catchy Name Crochet is doing, you are missing out because it's adorable. Oh, this is cute. If you actually have people over, which I never do, but uh, buttoned napkin rings. This is a one, a beginner. They always rank their things and tell you what it needs. Um, this will be worked in a three light. And of course, they went with more expensive yarn, but whatever. Um, but yeah, that is kind of cute if you're going to use some cloth napkins and actually sit at a table and not use it for just a placeholder in your dining room. Um, here are some others. Albors, is that right? Albors Coasters. Um, and they're using a number two fine for this, so it's getting into more delicate work, which is why it's a number four intermediate. But interesting little motifs. Learn the puff stitch. Well, gosh, I already know about the puff stitch. It's the rest of it that's kind of hard for me. But yeah, and they actually have a stitch guide online that you can go look at, which is kind of cool. Oh, now this is cute. They're calling this the Fall Frolic Pennant. It's a number three easy, worked in a four worsted weight yarn, a bunch of different cool colors, a lot of directions which we're not going to show. Look at some of those. That sweet bunting, I believe, as it's called. That's really cute. If you want to decorate, put some on your mantle. I love the colors they chose for it. And uh, I just like that. Yeah, super cute. I probably won't do it because I don't ever decorate, but a couple of pages of directions for that. Oh, wow. This says intermediate. That really looks like a super whamadine hard, doesn't it? It's because it's out of a size zero lace. Good gravy. But look at all those delicate little triangles and swirly bits and stitches. I really like it. I do. Um, I can't see myself working with that small of a yarn for that. Maybe if I tried to re you know, do it in a two. I can work with a two. Okay, here's their article on crocheting with alpaca. Nice. They show you some swatches. They got a picture of one of those cuties up there. Talking about raising alpacas and how awesome it is and all that stuff. Oh, more flyer. Two years for 22 something. Here is something nice for fall if you get a little chill in the air. Rose City Headband. It's made out of a four medium worsted weight. They call it a number three easy. So not necessarily beginner beginner, but uh, looks like pretty simple stitches. And uh, 
they show you how to put it all together, which is handy. This is the Heidi Scarflet. I'm presuming you can still wear it if your name isn't Heidi. Um, a scarflet? Is that a word? Has it just become a word? Eh, whatever. They're using um, Cascade Eco Alpaca for this. I guess that's why it's in the alpaca section. That is a four medium. It's cute, but since I don't care for things up around my neck, I wouldn't make it for myself. But, uh, yeah. Using shell stitches and stuff. Now, ooh... Ooh, doesn't that look luxurious? Uh, it's a boucle yarn, super soft, light as air, blah, blah, blah. Will not shed. It's made out of a zero lace weight. Yeah. And it says it's an easy, I don't know, with a, with a yarn that small, it'd probably take me a year to finish. I'm very, very slow. Yeah, it takes uh, four balls of 220 yards each to make this in those little teeny tiny stitches. Yes, that's my phone ringing. No, I'm not answering it. Also, they've got in this All About Alpaca section the Hope and Strength Shawl. That's kind of nice. Made out of a three light, so that's not too bad. It's made out of a DK. I guess it would be nice to have some of this alpaca to work it in if you're going to do all of these fun things. Um, advertising. Oh, this is interesting about tatting, needle tatting and stuff. Oh, some more alpaca yarn pattern here. The duo cross set. We've got some cabling on there. Crochet cabling. It says it's the number four intermediate. And I guess for cabling, there are several YouTubers that I know have put out, um, tutorials about cabling. I'm not one of them. I'm starting with the very, very basic beginning. And, uh, but yeah, learn some cabling or do as Kate from Bitch and Stitches says, wrist gymnastics. Lots of directions for that one. And they've got the editor's faves product review about some of these alpaca yarns. Wow, maybe I should crochet something like that for my cat boy instead of the bed I tried to make him, which he doesn't seem to like. Because that is cute and it's out of Annie's craft store. That's just an advert. Oh, here's something else out of Zero Lace Weight Yarn. Come on, y'all. Most of us can't see this stuff. Uh, the Be Happy Table Runner. It's pretty. I mean, look how fine and delicate that is at fillet work. But it is out of a size 10 crochet cotton is what they're using. Nine balls of it. That's a thousand yards of an eye ache for me. Anyway, if anyone wants to make me one, I'll be happy to have it, but... That is not happening with my eyeballs. Just like this one. Here we go. The pumpkin patch wall hanging. Now that is cute. I love me some Halloween. That's super cute. It's a little autumn scene in there. You've got the kitty. You've got the jack-o'-lantern. you got your woo -woo, boo ghost in there. But again, it's made out of a zero. Lace weight. Or a size 10 cotton crochet. And a 1.65 millimeter steel crochet hook. No. With the lace weight. Come on, y'all. Come on, Crochet Magazine. Okay. Um, here's a number four intermediate. It's called Autumn Trio. I mean, they're pretty. They really are. I like those. But so teeny tiny. So much. I might try to work it something like that in a two. Just make it a lot bigger. I wouldn't care if it's bigger, I guess. But yeah. Oh, and here's the, the graph for the pumpkin patch. Somebody's a story about an actual crocheter, much like a lot of us doing things with crochet. Well, here's something. A maple leaves afghan. Now, here we go. This is done out of a six super bulky. Lion brand wool ease thick and quick super bulky is what they're using on this. Seven skeins of one color and two skeins each of three other colors. And they're using a 10 millimeter hook. But look at that. That's really pretty. I like that. I love the fall. I'm sorry about the glare, y'all. So sorry about the glare. Let's see if I can unglare it a little bit. Um, yeah, the fall, that is my time. But yeah, it's beautiful. Pumpkin stack. Here's another one that most of us, I believe, can do. I call it a number three easy. Um, 
three little pumpkins that you stack up and they're super cute they're using um like i said a worsted weight yarn and they're using red heart super saver so accessible to most of us this one is a runner gosh we're getting into christmas already okay uh past the salt deer is what it's called i'm not even kidding okay they're using a number three out of pima cotton I mean, it's pretty, but not my thing. Oh, and they give you the graph for it, too. That's awesome. More adverts for Annie's. Oh, I like this. I like this better than the other bunting. Yes, I do. Festive pumpkin garland. I may have to go on a shopping trip and get some pumpkin-y type colors because I don't have enough. I like it. They give you directions for each pumpkin. They're doing it in a three-light you could probably do it in a four if you couldn't find three they would just be bigger but yeah super cute oh and this one hey they've got a project in here and i am losing the back of my magazine um that they've got in here for a beginner i mean ultra beginner i still call myself a beginner i know that i've been crocheting a little more now but um yeah i'm still a beginner look at these coasters now if you've been crocheting you know forever and a day you're looking at this and you're going why would they bother putting that in a magazine as someone who kind of makes up stuff as I go, yeah, I see your point. But it can help people like me learn how to read the pattern, learn how to follow it properly instead of just, you know, venturing off and doing our own things and give you a nice project to be done with. Awesome. And they're using cotton on this, a mercerized cotton. So it's great for a little mini hot pad for your coffee cup or a coaster. I like it. I do like it. I got the Country Sampler Pillow. They're calling this an intermediate. It's done in a four. There are a lot of different stitches in there. I guess that's why they're calling it a sampler. Hello. <clears throat> Ooh, the Autumn Comfort Throw. Here's a big picture of it. Some nice texture in there with the way it's done with the alternating different types of stitches. It's done in a four uh, worsted weight. Thick and comfy, they're calling it. They're using Red Heart Super Saver. Yeah. Ten skeins of burgundy. So, it's a big project, but it looks like once you got going and, you know, got a handle on the stitches, you could sit and watch TV while you did that one. Oh, I like this one, too. That's cute. That is super cute. The Celebrate Autumn Placemat. Look at that little place to put your silverware or your flatware not technically not silver for most of us um i like it they're using a, a dk weight for this so easy enough to do nice flat stitches little open decoration on the outside it's simple enough but decorative enough i like that yeah i've, I've been liking a lot of these this is the one from the front cover it's 42 inches square it tells you how big it is they don't give us the the centimeters i'm sorry i don't have my um converter out here with me but yeah they tell you how to join it let's see what does it use they're using a premier yarns basics medium worsted weight acrylic uh 200 grams per ball two balls each of three colors and one ball each of two other colors so that's a good bit of yarn but that sure is pretty that'd be nice to, to snuggle up on the couch with this one is called the stippled pumpkin pillow i like doing pillows and stuff because they're just fun i, I try to make too many wearables i can't wear that many clothes but that oh you, you do it with picos oh it's an intermediate okay they're using a four worsted weight out, weight out of that. Look at that. It's got the, the lines are made with picos. That's awesome. I think that's super cute. I may have to, I really do have to get some fall yarn. Several pages for directions for that one though. The fall forest nesting bowls. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. There's a bear, a raccoon, and it looks like a little fox. Is that a fox? It is a fox. Look! That is so cute. And you can kind of get the gauge of the size. These are candies that are pretty common to find, at least in the U.S. So, yeah. 
this they're calling this easy it's made out of a red heart super saver that is awesome i like those super cute they've got a lot of super cute ones this month more directions on the fall fiesta coasters but y'all know how i feel about that continuing it's all the way on page 62 just keep it all together keep it all together oh there's an actual show hang on knit and crochet now hmm. but knitting is magic it's on pbs apparently or you can go to the website and try to get it to knit and crochet now.com if you want to check that but uh yeah okay something else that this magazine does which i really like they give you the buyer's guide telling you where that you can get the different yarns that they used for the patterns in here they give you the lion brand website they give you the red heart the yarn inspirations website premier yarn all of those they tell you what the different skill levels mean i didn't even see a challenging one in there so i'm kind of glad because you know what not all of us can do those a lot of us i'm kind of stuck here at the beginner confident beginner and easy maybe an intermediate um depending on what i find they've got the yarn weight system there kind of tells you what it means with each of the ball types all the way from zero to seven jumbo yeah and on this side they give you a stitch guide with stitch abbreviations and if you've been crocheting a lot and know how to read patterns really well, this might be super easy peasy, not necessary for you. But for some of us, this is handy. Yarn conversions, ounces to grams and grams to ounces. Okay. Oh, and they've even got the conversion of what it means, U.S. to United Kingdom. Just in case our folks across the pond uh, want to try to use some of these too. All right, let's see. And that is about the end of it only on the very on the back before we get to the back page it does have a design directory it gives you a picture of every project in there and what page they start on i found a lot that i want to do out of this oh i found a lot that i need to order yarn for <laughs> was there anything in here you'd want to do i really wish that I had the patience and the dexterity and the eye control in order to do that tiny stuff there. That is so pretty. But yeah, some of these are so cute. I love these little pots and those placemats. The only time I actually set the table is like Thanksgiving. Yeah. So that actually might be perfect. Most of the time it's just the hubby and I, we eat in front of the TV. We have a table in there. But Thanksgiving we go all out we cook both ovens are cranking you know oh yeah we make we make way too much food and it's a good time but anyway i believe that is the end advertising yet another thing oh and also advertising for omega yarns but um yeah that was your look through crochet world october 2021 i am subscribed i'm not paid to do this i just look open it up and look through it with y'all because i think it's fun and there's some stuff on there that I might want to do. Tell me which ones you'd like to do. Let me open it back up to that page. You gonna do any? You want to do any of these blankets? Or do you want to do some of the small projects? That was really cute. Those little coasters. A lot of this is doable in this issue. Some issues not so much, but this one, yeah, we can do this. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate you being here with me. Um, on your way out, if you could hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. All the YouTubey things. Check the description. You might find some more interesting stuff in there. And come visit me on my Saturday vloggy video. See you soon, y'all. Bye-bye.